We have some turbo light sworn for you, and no, we're not playing grass looks greener. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Now, I've had a great deal of time kind of mess around and test this. Uh, this build might not quite be optimized just yet, but there's, there's a lot of cool stuff with this. So I did cut it down to 40 uh, because I wanted optimized numbers. So we are playing triple copies of our dear friend Weiss. This card is actually kind of nuts. Um, it's also being a light fiend. So you can also do full fiend smith combo with this. Yeah, I know that's... Uh, Actually, kind of bonkers. Actually, that you can actually do that. Uh, we've also got triple copies of the Light Sworn Dragonling. Uh, this card is also extremely valuable for what you need uh, for the deck. You know, being able to go through those combos, being able to turbo up, do what you need to do. Okay. We also have two Felis. Um, this is going to be your generic little piece. You know, gets milled by a Light Sworn effect, puts the body on the field. Same thing down here with the Dragonling Free Special Summon. You know. Continue up and up through the combo lines. Mission accomplished, effectively. And of course, uh, we play two copies of Wolf. Now, you're probably looking at this and you're like, you know, two Felis, two Wolf, Robbie. Like, is, is that enough? Honestly, I think so. I think that um, there's a lot of times where I look at, like, the Wolf situation here. And a third would be nice, just to kind of make sure. But, like, there are also a lot of games that you'll play you'll just see one of these and it's a terrible brick like <laughs> you're building a house with some of these things so that's something that you kind of got to keep in mind out here if you're looking to test around with this deck uh you gotta you gotta limit your bricks in a way that won't totally end your dueling career so optimization is going to be extremely key here and uh, we are playing two Raidens. Now, the reason for the two Raidens is a lot of the time I want to see this as a committed summon. Um, there will be a lot of times you'll look at your open hand and you'll be like, oh, well, like, this is awful. I also like the fact that, you know, if I need to revive this off of Weiss and, you know, I get a mill two off of it, it's also another tuner monster. And that was the major thing I was looking at with this was, you know, you want the tuner side of this to be able to reward you so that you can continue to generate this board and do your thing. Okay, so easy enough. We also have the one Lumina here. Card is absolutely, I, I think this card's amazing in this deck. Uh, if you are able to get to this Lumina for the discard something from your hand, or you know, like if you need to Saruja this onto the field as a sub extender to, you know, get the body back up, yeah, this is, this is also incredibly good. I do wish this was a four. <laughs> there have been, some very interesting times with this. And then we do one Judgment Dragon, one Punishment. Uh, basically, the little Dragonling gets a chance to recruit for whichever one of these that you need to kind of facilitate, you know, the rest of the combo. So it comes down to the fact of, oh, hey, you know, I'm able to see, you know, the JD, or, you know, I mill this, I can search this, or, you know, I mill this, I can search this. Um, you just got to remember, you know, if you're dropping the JD, it's going to be a level 8 extender so you can make the zombie vampire. That's very good. Um, if you also need to make the Enlightenment Fusion, we do play it. I think it's pretty important to know that, you know, that that combo line is very needed. Uh, we also are playing triple copies of Charge of the Light Brigade here. Um, I love this card. This card... If you, uh, this not being once per turn, it's a free mill three, get to whichever piece that you need. If you did open up, you know, a brick wolf or something, you know, you're able to adjust what you're trying to do in the deck build and figure out, oh, hey, you know, like, now I need to go down this sub line here and try to figure out where we're going to go. And so that's your light swarm package. Now, I do rewind you back to this. This is a light fiend monster. All right, you gotta you gotta keep that in mind here. All right, we designed this to interact with the fiend smith combo. Uh, as of right now, um, we are playing fiend smith in this. I uh, I losing Lacrima was a pretty big hit, uh, but having this stuff guarantees you that you can get to a Desiree, and it also means that you can get to a Pilgrim Reaper for a massive mill, if need be. 
And I do think having access to the Pilgrim Reaper through the Necro Equip is very, very spicy. Actually, some of the best Yu-Gi-Oh that you can kind of cook up right now. So that's a pretty major W out here for that. All right, and then of course, we're even crazier. We have a full Horus package in here with everything that you wanna see. It's Triple Emcetti, the one Hoppy, and the two King Sarcophagus. Uh, I do think that this is pretty important out here as well. You know, being able to tutor for, you know, the, the zombie vampire, to set up for the, the bigger mill swings, and I cut the whole part bringer. I needed room, so <laughs> can't really have everything being straight involved. Uh, we are doing two Labellion, one Magna Hut, one Druus Worm, one Brandy Regained. Um, this is rough. It really is. Uh, we did have three Labellions in here, but I needed to cut something to get the deck down in size. Uh, the Magna Hut, honestly, the Magna Hut and the Druus Worm are just extenders. Like, if you can get to the Brandy Regained, sure, it's good. But the problem is, is if this gets milled, okay, it's gone. There's nothing that you can really do about that. Now, the main thing I love about this deck is we're doing Judgment of the Pharaoh with the Ujo Friendship. Uh, the big, big, big centralized win con here is Judgment of the Pharaoh, because Judgment of the Pharaoh has one of the dumbest effects in modern era Yu-Gi-Oh history that says, hey, uh, if I have Ujo Friendship in the graveyard, you get an entire turn skip. You can't even set, all right? Like, this card is bonkers to me. And I'm going to continue to find a way to abuse this, because I, I think this card's incredibly good. And to back that thing up, we have, of course, Triple Transaction Rollback. Now, you got to remember, your deck is so extremely high roll here that you have to hit the mills in order to, you know, get things to work. So, as the vacuum goes while you're trying to play the game, okay. And then we have one called by the Grave. Pretty extra stuff here. Now, of course... Uh, extra deck. So we are doing one Minerva and one Minerva. One Synchro, one Xyz. Um, this mills three. This mills six, technically, for the way that, you know, this is typically going to play out for you, which I, I think that that's good. Um, this also sets up for the other dragon. You know, you need to be able to set up for the Punishment Dragon, having the four different names. Okay, easy to do. All right, we also have the package this is going to take up a lot of our extra deck slots so we play one of this we have the one requiem the one sequence the one necro equip because you need this uh, and then we do play the one copy of desiree uh, the biggest thing i can tell you about this is having this desiree be live is really good also a sequence being a link to for potential link climbing is kind of stupid actually i really like that now since we are doing some shenanigans here, uh, we are playing the Pilgrim Reaper. Uh, this thing gets 200 attack for every dark in both players' graveyards. And then we can detach once in the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. Um, this card, I like a lot. It's a free mill five, all right? It just, its entire purpose is to facilitate combo and help you along the way. Uh, we are currently playing one Dugaris. This came up in the very early games. Uh, it didn't really come up post Fiendsmith, actually. Uh, we are playing one Tsukiyome and one Kagetsuchi. Uh, I like this because it says mill five cards. Uh, you can very easily cut, you know, like the Dugaris or the Tsukiyome, I guess, to put in the whole Harbinger. Um, it really just depends on, like, how you open up for the later half of the combos. Then we have the Zombie Vampire, my favorite mill machine. Go Burr. We have Mr. Enlightenment Dragon. We also have Dispater. And we are playing one Ceruja just to be able to turbo some cards out of the hand to kind of help us up with what we're trying there. So that is our Light Sworn Turbo list. Honestly, I think this deck is a lot of fun. So check out our friends, tradingcardmint.com down below, and our MCO47 to purchase. If you're somebody out here looking just for fun Light Sworn ideas to play around at like, you know, locals just to see what you can do, I'd give this deck a shot because you never really know how much fun you're going to have with the deck until you give it a shot. And that's what Yu Gi Oh is all about. You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.